This morning, two new mails arrived in the player mailbox announcing some changes. First, there are some changes to decoration features. Basically, this is a way to consume your decorations faster. Decorations that had a timer, such as three days, used to count for three days active time. This meant that I could use an item and apply it for an hour. Then, when I got tired of it, I could switch to my normal castle. Later, perhaps in a week or two, I could activate it again, and there would still be two days and 23 hours remaining. That is no longer the way it works. If you activate a three-day decoration, it will disappear in three days, regardless of whether it has been your active decoration or not. Why would they do this, you ask? Because this change forces players that like to purchase decorations to purchase them more often. Anything to make a few more bucks, it seems. The next mail announces that officer equipment is coming. And by coming, Ebony means the equipment has just been released. Seriously, who writes these announcements? This is some important content, so let's skip the lore and read through the important parts of the mail before we explore the implications to the game. Dear Evonians, we have released new officer equipment. You can craft your very first officer equipment console staff now. From May 20th to May 29th, players can gain console staff scroll at party cake level 5 in the King's Party event. New officer equipment will offer great buffs to your officers. Only console staff scroll is unlocked this round. More officer equipment are coming soon. New officer equipment can be crafted in Forge. Let's now take a look at this new equipment. To find it, go to your Forge and scroll all the way to the right. There you should see console staff. If you don't, you likely need to do a game update. The console staff requires slightly more materials than Akamenide gear in the forge, which isn't much to be concerned about. The basic attributes are construction speed 10% and all resources production 5%, which should increase when the equipment is starred. How high does it go? I'm not sure. But if you check the comments on this video, someone may post that information for us. Like other equipment, you can refine the staff to get additional attributes. If Ebony fixes the new refines that were bugged, you could put additional construction speed or resource production on here, making it crazy powerful. Now, if all you wanted out of this video was the basic information on the update, there's no need to stick around. I'm about to get into the grit here and talk about what this means to the player. If you want my take on these new reveals, stick around. Still here? All right, here we go. What does this mean to you, the player? Let it be known that despite me looking fairly composed right now, internally, I'm saving with rage. I released a video a few days back calling for an Ebony intervention due to what I see as shady business practices. I called out Ebony on how each new release of features in the game seems to be an apparent money grab that offers little to no value to players unless they spend thousands upon thousands of dollars to buy absolutely everything that is offered. I also spoke on how their false advertising lures new players to the game under false pretenses which damages both the game's reputation and the overall health of the game. Players now constantly report feeling tricked and forced into buying packs in the game just to try to keep up, which inevitably fails due to the sheer quantity of purchases required. Two days later, Top Games Inc., the developers of Ebony the King's Return, announced record-breaking sales for the month of April. Unintentionally, their announcement validates everything that I and the many players out there have been saying since December. This company is 100% focused on doing whatever they can in the short term to suck as much money from the player's wallets as possible with no regard for the long-term success of the game. Do you guys realize how much money is needed to get to Cake 5 and obtain this console staff? I didn't, so I asked around. 
People who are more informed on Ebony spending revealed to me that this staff would cost around $2,000 to obtain. $2,000. And this is the first of a series of gear that will be released just like civilization equipment. There are six types of equipment, weapons, armor, boots, helmet, leg armor, and ring. To obtain the full console set, you would have to now purchase $12,000 of in-game packs. And this is one of the many, 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 many sets of six pieces that are basically required to be mildly competitive in this game. Are you angry yet? You should be. Unless you came for the puzzles, of course. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the channel. If you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the like button and checking out other videos on the Miser's Guide to Ebony. I'll see you in the next video.